remnants of Hurricane Dorian are progressing towards the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador this evening with winds of 65 miles per hour and a pressure of 968 millibars. It's at 51 north, 57.5 west at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Looking at Hawke's Bay right now, not far from the storm center, this is the CDPS scale, stage three now, and that's declining rather quickly. The wind field has shrunk a little bit overall, uh, but still a significant storm there on the CDPS. There's its current location and wind field. Um, a post-tropical cyclone now, of course, and as you can see, it is just off the western coast of Newfoundland. Current locations, distances 34 miles from St. Augustine in Quebec, 42 miles from Hawke's Bay, 110 from St. Anthony, 135 from Mary's Harbour in Labrador, and 201 from Black Tickle on the eastern coast of Labrador. Looking at current watches and warnings, just a warning, Tropical Storm Warning for Cape Anguille to Fogo Island and Mutton Bay to Mary's Harbour. These places probably scarcely heard of until this tropical update. Anyway, let's take a look now at what we expect over the next five days. The models, well, we can't really see much on this model run, and indeed any of the model runs, because it's pretty much off our screen. It would be at the top side somewhere. Never mind, it's glitched up anyway, this rainfall graphic. What you can see there is that trail of pink, which is actually the track of Tropical Storm Gabrielle, which is not far from hurricane status. Dorian and Gabrielle will continue to progress across the North Atlantic, and will both strike the uh, North Sea coasts eventually. Sea surface temperatures freezing where the storm is at this point. That is why it is a post-tropical cyclone into the lower teens. There goes Dorian's wind field off the screen. You can just about make out the bottom part of the wind field there progressing off towards the east. I can tell you that Dorian will end up, the National Hurricane Center say it will get swallowed up by another uh, low pressure system and then what's left of it will move along the North Atlantic uh, south of Greenland into the North Sea and eventually up towards the Arctic Circle well towards the northwest of Scandinavia. Gabrielle on the other hand will be moving up through the northeastern part of the Atlantic towards the northern part of the British Isles by the end of the week. Chances of tropical storm force winds are still high though in Atlantic Canada near 100% at Stephenville, Cornerbrook and Deer Lake also 94% at Gander and in St Augustine. All of these locations across Newfoundland and Labrador could receive tropical storm force winds. Uh, these are very old model runs because RAM hasn't been uh, up for a little while, so you can see what the models were expecting of the storm. They've done not too bad a job. That wind shear really killed off Dorian in the end. Still remarkable how it managed to become a Category 2 before striking Nova Scotia and was a Category 2 equivalent landfall even though it wasn't tropical by that point. It's way down now to 65 miles per hour and pretty much a run-of-the-mill strong extratropical cyclone. Look how large it is though, you can see it on this imagery covering the whole screen virtually. Especially the northern side has the most cloud cover, but ironically it's the clearer side, the south and east, that has the most wind speed in, in terms of wind field, largest wind radius. Up to 310 miles in parts of the southeastern quadrant, we could be seeing tropical storm force winds. So that could cover the whole of Newfoundland, especially the, the offshore waters. And as it enters the North Atlantic, all of that area will receive tropical storm force winds. Land, of course, is a buffer for those tropical storm force winds, so further inland, the winds won't be quite so high. You can see that moisture trail as well, still ingesting dry air on the eastern side. Western side is the most moist, as you can see on that imagery. Rainfall expectations from the storm over the whole region now, a maximum of two inches more than what we've seen so far. Those strong winds will still remain the biggest threat. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. 
You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.